right, what's going on everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here, heading out to a card show, the uh, Northwest Valley Coins and Collectibles, Sports Cards and Coins Show. Uh, one of the longest standing, maybe the longest standing in Phoenix uh, for the monthly show. It's right by my house, about a 10 minute drive, just basically one street over, which is super convenient. Running a little bit behind to this show. I like to get there about 10, 15 minutes early because there aren't really a lot of vendors I typically buy from. This is a vintage heavy show. I spend anywhere between 50 to $200 regularly. I think the most I've ever spent was like 300. Um, so not really a huge show for me personally. I've got like 400 and, and something dollars here. I'd be shocked if I spend over 250. I go for just a quick hour, just a huge slate of college football today. Um, lots of good games. So I just kind of want to um, hit my usual vendors and then peace out. Not really trying to dig too much. There is another show, uh, the Chandler Gilbert show, the biggest, yeah, the biggest uh, card show monthly uh, for Phoenix, uh, but just 45 minutes away, way too far for me, you know, to spend an hour and a half driving, you know, missing the whole morning slate of games, getting back at 1 p.m. for me, not ideal. I'd rather miss, you know, an NFL Sunday than a college football Saturday. So just got to the show, uh, gonna go in, it's nine o'clock, so it technically just opened. It usually opens like 10, 15 minutes early, but uh, yeah, just gonna hit my usual spot, see what happens. Got 400-ish dollars, a little over that, and uh, I'll show you the pickups. I'll, show, I'll try to show you some stacks that I'm uh, accumulating and uh, what I'm thinking during the show. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, so here's a $5 box that I just started picking out anything that I was remotely interested in. And then I started looking things up or just kind of thinking about it. Most of this was in the 5 to $7 range where I just wouldn't have enough room. I think there were about $100 worth of cards. I probably could have got down to 80 which I think would have given me a lot of room. But only I ended up coming away with two of these cards here. But wanted to show you what I was thinking here. These are just a few cards that I ended up getting. You'll see them all in my pickups in a little bit. But uh, just some rookie numbered stuff. Things that I think would do well. Or niche things that I think would go on eBay. But just wanted to highlight a few things that I picked up mid-show. Alright, so just uh, left the card show. I spent maybe 200 ish or so. I honestly don't even remember. Um, but of course when I get home I'll show you everything that I picked up. Uh, pretty good value bins actually. Normally I have not really been into the value bins just because it's been a lot of work but a lot of this I think made sense so excited to see what everything comes up just a lot of big names and uh, you know I think uh, some stuff that will add up over time. Am I willing to put in the work? Eh, kind of you know I'm trying to save my money for Bowman University I really want to go all in on that but we'll see what happens. Gas is $4.99 golly. So all right I'm gonna get home I'm gonna show you everything that I picked up a little over $200, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you in two seconds. All right, so finally had some time to record tonight. Um, going to show you everything that I picked up. A really good dollar bin and some value stuff. Um, a couple $2 bins and then some nicer stuff that I picked up. So gonna jump right into the $1 bin stuff that I got. Thought it was a really good deal um, that I got on all of this, so. Um, let's just jump right into it. Everything was just $1. He had sticker prices on everything, but said everything was a dollar. So, uh, Trevor Lawrence, pink spellbound. I'll take these at a dollar all day. Again, a Joe Burrow pink, all the big names that you want to try to complete those sets on. Uh, Joe Burrow, you, this is just the base, Justin Herbert. So now I'm going to try to complete those sets or at least try to look around for something cheap. thought this was a good one. Sean Tucker select. Doesn't have any pro cards, I don't think. People think that he's kind of right behind Rashad White in Tampa, so I think that could be pretty sneaky. Uh, I probably could have passed on this. Brian Branch, I know he had a pick six week one against the Chiefs, but figured, you know, maybe he's still hot for a dollar. I'll take that chance. Kyron Williams, a guy that uh, has become running back one. I was buying him up this offseason. A lot of people were saying him and Cam Akers were splitting. Kyron's got a little bit more upside. I personally didn't trust Cam Akers. Now he shipped to Minnesota, so Kyron is the true number one. I know it's college, but gold laser color match. I think that could do well. Another color match here, Jamar Chase, gold laser. I like that one. Uh, Jalen Waddle, red laser. I don't know what the format is when you pull these, but thought not bad. Uh, Tua Tagovailoa here, and oops. 
Um, this one, we'll see how this does. Deion Sanders, I just know, you know, got blown out by Oregon today, but you know, maybe his stuff, I know his other like older, like score stuff is hot. Maybe that is uh, relevant right now. Uh, Anthony Richardson hurt right now, but rookie select, who knows? I'm sure it's worth more than a dollar. Patrick Mahomes, red laser, anything Mahomes is going to move. Uh, Justin Ross, I don't know if his prices have maintained. I don't know what he's really done, but you know, in, in the uh, fall camp and mini camp, he was doing numbers. So maybe that'll do okay. And then Kenny Pickett, gold laser, color match. So, you know, a lot of college stuff, but all the big names they want, Pickett, Mahomes, Herbert, Tua, hot right now. So didn't think that was bad for a dollar a piece. That was 15 cards. When I was looking through the stack, this guy said that uh, he ripped open a bunch of elite and he was trying to get rid of this whole stack for $15. So let's uh, run through that. Um, Paris Johnson, number to 255. He said lasted 12 on this. We'll see. I can't imagine it's going to hold too much value. Uh, Joe Burrow, I don't know what this parallel is, but you know anything Joe is going to move. Uh, Patrick, Jalen Hurts. Christian Watson, uh, Dalvin, I don't know who that is. Dalton Kincaid might not be bad. And then it's got a ton of base, but again, all the big names you want. And then a couple Spellbounds. This is really why I bought it. Uh, spellbound, uh, Justin Jefferson, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Justin Jefferson, Tony Pollard, and then just a ton of base. Brock Purdy, Kyler, star status. I don't know what that you know format is, but again, all the big names you want. Nolan Smith to uh, 625. AJ Brown in a Eagles jersey. Aiden O'Connell, that might not be bad. I, I know his hype has probably died down, but at least it's in a rookie jersey here. Um, these are just all base. Najee Harris, Daniel Jones, Amon Rod, Waddle, all the big names you want. CD, uh, Devontae. Baker in his uh, Tampa jersey, so nothing crazy, but it's just all base. But figured with the couple, the few numbered cards, the Aiden O'Connell, the Paris Johnson, we'll see, and then the uh, the couple of spellbounds for fifteen bucks. I think this was like thirty cards or so. Um, I'm willing to take that chance. So that was a pretty nice value bin that I found. Um, so now I'm gonna go over a couple other plays that I got here. I'll just go through this big card here. Malik Willis, Rookie of the Year. This is Black Scope, number 215. Last ones did like 103 and 110. Um, we, he didn't have a price on it, and I should have probably checked the condition of it. I didn't, but um, offered 80 on it, or he did, and I just decided to take it. I don't think Malik Willis is done in the league just with how bad Ryan Tannehill is looks good last time i bought a card from him it was scratched so it was a Kadarius tony red optic contenders auto and i was kind of annoyed but also on me to uh check i also got a psa 10 jared goff from him for 50 bucks so and sold that for like 200 so can't complain but again i just don't think he's done this is super low number there's only one listed for like 120 125 ish so thought that was a good deal um and then this all came from the same dealer but uh, just different points. This was $20. This Charles Woodson pink mosaic, number to 20. Um, there was one at bids that did about 15 or so at PSA nine. I think if I just do buy it now, um, that could do pretty well. And then Chris Olave choice. Um, this was kind of all over the place. I think I could list this for 15 to 20 bucks and sell that. These were in the $5 bin, um, got everything for 20 here. And these were doing about 10 to 12 bucks. So not bad there. I think that'll that'll be a nice little winner right there. And then it picked up from the same seller. This is my first go around. This Britton Brown, I don't know who this is, from UCLA run. So he was behind Zach Charbonnet. I honestly don't remember him at all. Um, but a cracked ice auto for 10 bucks. I don't even know if he's on the roster, but I'll take my chances there. Uh, Chris or Chase Brown, futures, this is numbered to something. 249 running back two behind Joe Mixon. So if Joe ever goes down, I think that's something of value. Cam Thomas to 49. Nice little red color match. Nothing crazy, but that was two dollars. And so was that Chase Brown. Uh, would I have bought these again, knowing what I know now? No. But Chase Garber's contenders auto. I thought he was still on the roster. Kind of dumb of me to assume that with Aiden O'Connell there. But he played at Cal, 
and the Raiders autos for two bucks. They go for about four bucks, so nothing crazy. Might just sell them at two dollars, plain white envelope, and take a loss, or just ship them off to Com C, so I don't have to worry about them. Who knows? Um, and then last deal, a uh, guy that I've been making deals with lately has kind of showed up at, at the last few shows. So I uh, got a little bit of a deal here for buying some extras. Um, Desmond Ritter to 96. This is a rookie card out of Elite. They haven't been doing much, but the one touch alone, I'm going to buy it because it's like three, four dollars worth of the one touch and then the card itself. Um, Desmond Ritter seems to be hot. So uh, Saquon Barkley, Blue Ice, number 299. Nothing crazy, but again, with the one touch, color match, Saquon, I know he's hurt right now, but you know, I, I find it hard to believe that I couldn't get like 15 bucks playing with envelope on that. Uh, Kyle Phillips, Phoenix, Mojo. I don't know what this would, what the parallel would be, but number to seven out of UCLA. I think he's on the IR, um, but a guy that I really liked at UCLA, a versatile piece there. For, you know, after bulk deal, I got all of this for $65, so about 12 ish, $13 a piece there, so nothing crazy. Uh, Jalen Warren, select red, white, and blue here, number to 149. It's kind of getting some hype behind Najee Harris. People seem to like him a little bit more. Who knows, but um, thought that was okay. And then Dak Prescott. Panini, Panini Day, I think. Yeah, Panini Day, number 250. For 25 bucks, again, my average cost here is going to be about $13, so I don't hate that. Uh, I just don't like buying the Panini Father's Day or Panini Day because it's so hard to like actually search for it and get comps and for people to find it. But a Dak Prescott rookie numbered. They're doing pretty well this year so far, two weeks in. So didn't think that was bad. Again, $65 for this stack so that's everything that i picked up i'm gonna start comping these I'll, I'll probably take you with me as i'm comping and listing um do like a time lapse of me uh taking photos of everything i want to do all that and list tomorrow so that i can start moving this stuff but overall a pretty good show i really like the dollar bin here i think you know this is going to be a very good stack that ends up making me some money um, i think these are all you know four or five dollar cards at least that you know, will all add up. And, um, you know, I've tried to kind of stay at a low end, but I think that's kind of the stuff that I would still, you know, grind out the pictures, photos, listings, and all that. So I think that's gonna be stuff that's super easy to move, super liquid, um, and, uh, you know, not, not too much of a pain. So that's everything. I'm gonna start comping these. I'll, you know, start taking photos and doing all of that, and uh, we'll hop right to it. Honestly, one of the more therapeutic parts in kind of this process is just removing everything out of the top loader so I can end up taking clean photos. I took everything out of the team bag, I took everything out of the top loader, so now I can just kind of run through all of the cards at once and just kind of line them up and take all their photos. I just have my phone stand here, the light ring, um, and some of those cards right there in the one touches. But I'm just gonna start running through all these and uh, take some photos. Honestly, having a phone stand is a huge game changer. I recommend it to anyone. If you're going to be taking a lot of photos for eBay, it is a must-have. Saves so much time. All right, so just took photos of everything. Tomorrow I'm going to airdrop everything onto my MacBook, um, and then I'll start comping stuff and posting stuff, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so here I drop all my photos on my MacBook, and then from there I just start going down the list to start comping everything, seeing what has sold recently, and then copying those listings. So I'm just going to take you through how I comp things. So I have the photo, I look up the card, go to sold listings, or if there's none available, then I'll just see what's at buy it now. Um, and then from there, I'll look at the best one, whatever kind of seems to come up at the top or whatever sold for the most. And then from there, go to sell now. And then that's going to basically pre-populate all the details that they once had on their listing. And then I'm just going to copy their details and drop my photo in. Having two screens up is also huge, just dragging your photos from one screen onto another. I'm also going to clean up the title, add some things that I like or remove some of theirs. I like adding like New York Giants or their college team, depending on whatever I have space for. RC, Rookie, SP, really anything. And then here I just have a template for my description. My price, I'm going to go $20. I'm the only one on the market, and typically I do free shipping, but here, since it's SP, color match, I think it's cool. I'll charge a dollar to soak up some fees. 
always do 2% promoted listings. I think it does wonders. It's going to make your stuff move a little bit quicker in my opinion. Just kind of reviewing some stuff here and then going back up to condition. That's kind of the slowest part about listing is waiting for that to populate. But once you're done, just hit list it and voila, you're going to make some money now. Congrats. All right, so just finishing up the rest of the pricing and listing. Honestly, select draft picks, not great. Most of those are like 3 to $4, so not going to make huge margins. And the rest, eh, I'm probably not going to make a ton on this show, but you know, sometimes you just got to take a chance. All right, so that's everything from my card show experience, from my travel, a little bit of card show action itself, uh, my pickups, my photo process, my listing, my thoughts, everything. So, uh trying to change some stuff up, trying to get some fresh content for you all. So uh, this did take a little bit longer to edit, but I think it's gonna be for the best. And for me personally, my first time, so things are only gonna get better from here. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.